Senator, welcome back. Great to have you. Thank you. Good to be with you. Uh, they say don't fight the Fed, but you seem interested in at least fighting the notion that rate hikes can help offset inflation. Why? Look, I'm very concerned that we know what the causes, or at least some of the causes of inflation are. Uh, supply chain problems, COVID outbreaks that continue around the world, uh, Vladimir Putin invading the Ukraine, monopolies or near monopolies that are engaging in price gouging, and increases in the interest rate won't fix any of those. And Jerome Powell has actually admitted that in testimony before Congress. And yet he continues to drive forward with what so far have been historically fast, aggressive, high interest rate increases. So if it's not going to help bring down a lot of the prices in our economy, what it can do is actually pitch this economy into a recession. So I think that that's something the Fed should consider, and I think they should moderate this aggressive attack. Right. Yeah, you're right that the, the chairman has said that rates really can't affect supply, but they can affect demand, and weaker demand ostensibly lowers price. Uh, it seems to me that there's some at least iota of effectiveness in that. So, look, of course, there are a lot of pieces that are going here. But keep in mind what you're talking about when you say can depress demand. What we're really talking about is the Fed is trying to sharply raise rates so that businesses will contract, so that they will either cut hours for employees or lay employees off. Um, that means a lot of pain imposed on people. Look, think about it this way with the interest rate increases. If they can't address a whole lot of the reasons that we have this inflation, but they can force a lot of people into layoffs and no income coming in, look at the brutal situation that puts people in. We continue to have high prices, but also have high unemployment at the same time. That is not the position that we want to be in. And I think the problem we've got here is the Fed has only one tool in its toolbox, raising interest rates. So it's using that tool very aggressively, whether that's the medicine that fixes this problem or not. We need to attack inflation on multiple fronts at once, and I want to give President Biden full credit for doing that. It's for trying to reduce oil prices. It's for working hard to get the supply chains unkinked. It's for trying to get COVID under control. And it's for pushing back against the monopolies and price gouging. So I think the problem is we need to have responses that are calibrated to the problem and we need to be very careful about saying the solution is to put more people out of work.